we are now looking at binary covalent compounds. Covalent compounds form molecules, so often they are also called molecular compounds. The covalent compounds share electrons, forming bonds of uh, one, two, or three pairs, single, double, or triple bonds. And they can do this in a variety of ways. So any two nonmetals bonded together often have a variety of compounds that they can form. So there's no set compound based on ionic charge. So to identify the compound, we use prefixes to identify how many atoms of each element are present. As in writing our formulas, we generally don't use one in our formulas. We generally don't use mono in our compounds. We do have two compounds that uh, we will see that have that mono in the name. CO is carbon monoxide. NO is nitrogen monoxide. Other than that, do not expect to see mono in a compound. So two atoms will be di, three atoms tri four tetra, five penta, six hexa, seven pepta, eight octa, nine nona, ten deca. We're not going to look at anything higher than that. And by using this naming convention, we'll get a unique name for each compound that will not be confused with other compounds. So let's practice this. So first we'll go from formula to name. So CCL4, C is carbon. CL is chlorine. As with the Ionic compounds, the second element, we're going to change the ending to an IDE ending. So the first element, our preferred order is based on our electronegativity, our charge series. So we go from the more positive elements to the more negative elements. Uh, so we always start with the more positive, we end with the more negative. And the more negative, we're going to change to an IDE suffix. So we have chlorine, so it's going to become chloride. We have four chlorines, so it's going to be a tetra, so tetrachloride. The next one, SCL2, S is sulfur. Chlorine becomes chloride. Two of them is di, so sulfur di chloride. P2S5, so P is phosphorus. We have two of them, so it's a diphosphorus. Sulfur, S is sulfur, becomes sulfide. With five of them, it becomes pentasulfide. ClF3, Cl is chlorine. F is fluorine, becomes fluoride. The three of them is trifluoride. So we have fluorine trifluoride. We have two famous exceptions to these naming conventions. So H2O. We should run into that as water. So we're not going to call it a dihydrogen oxide. There are people who uh, use various names like that as a joke, trying to ban dihydrogen oxide because of all the drowning deaths that it caused. 
but H2O is just water. The other one is NH3. We're not going to call it nitrogen triiodide. It's just known as ammonia. So let's go in the other direction from the name to the, the compound. So chlorine pentafluoride, chlorine is Cl. Fluoride is F for fluorine. Penta is five, so it's a ClF5. Chlorine dioxide. So Cl for chlorine, oxide is O, di two, so ClO2. Boron triiodide, boron is B. Iodide, iodine is I, tri is three, so Bi3. Difluorine dioxide, so fluorine is F, di is two. Oxide is O, di is two, so F2O2. So there's a variety of compounds out there. Uh, this naming convention always gives us a unique compound for each name.